Welcome to County Chatter, a brand new show by Channel 18 in collaboration with Barnstable County. With me today to kick off this first show is Brian Baumgartel from the Division of Wastewater at Barnstable County. Brian, we've got a cool subject to talk about today, but mm -hmm. first, let's talk a little bit about you. What do you do at the county? So at the county, I am the director of the wastewater division at the Barnstable County Department of Health and Environment, which is one of the uh, main departments of Barnstable County. Um, and in that wastewater division, um, we have a number of programs that are oriented around um, mostly smaller flow wastewater issues, um, like backyard type systems, septic systems that people are very familiar with on Cape Cod. Um, and that includes the Aquafund program. Um, which is our uh, low interest loan program for homeowners to replace their septic systems. Um, the Massachusetts Alternative Septic System Technology Center, we're located on Joint Base Cape Cod. It's a hub of uh, research and development and certification activity for advanced on-site technologies. It's one of the few like it mm. really in the entire world uh, and the largest on the North American continent right here on, wow. right here on Cape Cod, cutting edge technology development right here on Cape Cod. Um, in addition to that, we track um, all of the innovative systems that end up out there in the world. There are some 4,000 of them on Cape Cod already. Really? I'm wow. sure, yeah, I'm sure most people aren't aware of that. Um, and we're also looking at developing what's called this Responsible Management Entity Program. So that is um, in areas where towns might look to use on-site advanced treatment technologies to clean up our bays and um, estuaries and ponds. Um, it's, it's similar to a, like a sewer utility for on-site systems. So how can we um, assist homeowners through what is a really confusing and uh, drawn out process to get them set up in those instances where towns might use those technologies for their, for their water quality problems. That's fantastic. There's a there's a lot going ar uh, around for uh, the issue of wastewater. We've been talking about it for 30 years, um, but a lot of this has now come to fruition where towns across the region are putting in wastewater plans, mm -hmm. the uh, comprehensive wastewater plan management plan here in the town of Barnstable is underway and is uh, the implementation of uh, sewer expansion is, is here. Mm -hmm. Describe the problem a little bit about wastewater and then we're going to get into how residents will have some ability to access funds and uh, the ability um, to uh, replace septics and or connect to sewer. So mm -hmm. talk about the problem a little bit. What is this, this wastewater this, problem? This wastewater problem. Well, the wastewater problem is really that we produce too much of it. Um, you know, typically the environment has uh, built-in capability to, uh, you know, uh, treat and, and take care of waste because it's part of the natural cycle, but unfortunately, there's just too many of us here now, and we produce far too much wastewater for nature to be able to handle it on its own. Um, so we've, you know, created these wastewater treatment systems, be they septic systems, which are a wastewater treatment system, or treatment plants, or advanced technologies, um, with the intention of giving nature a little bit of a hand, giving it a boost. You know, we're not, uh, in most cases, inventing some process that totally is devoid of what nature would do on its own. Usually we're mimicking nature's own processes, right? Um, so really what we're trying to figure is out is how do, we, how do we speed up that process so that we can um, treat things like nitrogen or phosphorus or um, things like contaminants of emerging concern, you know, our right. pharmaceuticals and those soaps and cleaners that we all use in our homes and things like PFAS, which I'm sure people yeah. have heard about uh, quite frequently lately. Um, but most of the towns right now are focused uh, first and foremost on nitrogen because that's been uh, a problem that's been evident for decades at this point. Um, because we as human beings, we produce a lot of nitrogen through our urine, um, and that nitrogen makes its way into the environment, gets into our uh, marine bays and estuaries, and the algae and little tiny creatures that live in there use that stuff up and they go crazy, they grow, they bloom, um, and that's where we end up with like fish kills and those kinds of things, and you know, the waters that we don't want to swim in anymore, um, and the things that unfortunately cause our tourists to go elsewhere. Right. Um, which is a significant concern for us. But it's not just nitrogen. Um, in our freshwater ponds, we're looking at phosphorus. Right. Um, phosphorus is a major issue there. It's like, it's like the analog of nitrogen in, in marine environments. We put phosphorus into a pond, and those little algae say, ooh, phosphorus. Right. <laughs> they eat it all up, they bloom, they grow, 
And that can create things, uh, you know, situations where uh, we start to see hypoxia in our ponds. We could see some fish kills in ponds. Uh, but I think the one that scares people the most are these things, this, this uh, really scary thing called harmful algae, algae blooms mm. um, that I'm sure folks have heard about more recently. Um, harmful algae blooms are where um, some of those algae that are growing and blooming produce a toxin as they're, as they're growing and kind of going mm. through their life cycle. Um, that can be toxic to humans um, and really impacts smaller animals much more than bigger. You know, you and okay. I, we probably would be fine in a harmful algae bloom might get right. a little sick. Um, but dogs and children, you know, more susceptible. Right. So, um, you know, those are the main concerns that we're faced with right now uh, in our wastewater is how do we get rid of the nitrogen? How do we get rid of the phosphorus? And then also, how do we deal with that looming specter of all these other contaminants that are in our wastewater um, in right. the process? Right. And we've just recently been through some DEP, um, you know, public hearings talking about mm -hmm. increased regulatory processes for septic, for wastewater. Can you describe a little bit of what those processes really have to do with wastewater programs and mm -hmm. why we should kind of like pay attention to this? Um, well, the DEP, the regulations from Department of Environmental Protection that were proposed last year, um, in the spring last year, and have gone through a whole public process at this point, I'm sure yeah. folks have probably seen the public hearings and everything that, is, that has been uh, happening and uh, the news articles. Um, DEP has found itself in a position where it needs to do something about the problem that we have. Um, there is a lot of external pressure, I think, that they're faced with that the town, some of the towns on Cape Cod maybe aren't moving fast enough or uh, quick enough to their liking, perhaps, mm -hmm. um, so that we clean up our bays and estuaries in a reasonable period of time. And I don't think necessarily that they're all in the wrong on that. Clearly, we have a problem now today. We should have put this stuff in decades ago at this point, uh, but here we right. are. Um, so DEP has proposed this set of regulations to you know, meet some of that pressure and also try to push the process a little bit more quickly. Um, so the proposal is that um, anybody who lives in these nitrogen impacted areas would have to upgrade their system to an advanced nitrogen removing system. Um, which the way the system is, you know, the way uh, the, the system, the, the way systems are permitted and, and financed um, is a scary prospect for homeowners mm -hmm. who could be faced with, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollar bills and have to deal with that totally on their own, right. which to me is it's completely unfair as a public servant. That right. bothers me pretty significantly. Um, so I think what the hope is that DEP doesn't want towns to select that process. They're saying, you know, here is this scary thing that your citizens don't want. Please select this alternate process that we have put <laughs> together for you in this watershed permitting right. thing. Um, which would allow towns much more flexibility to choose the solutions that are right for them, which may include advanced treatment systems, right. but would give them a longer timeline and more flexibility in how they can finance those systems to make the burden much easier on uh, citizens of Cape Cod. Right. So. And you're talking the, the million dollar word here, which is financing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just uh, upgrading to a septic system when your septic system fails can, you know, be 10,000 and above. And, yeah. and, you know, sometimes those types of bills are, you know, just not ready for homeowners. They're, they're you know, what do we do here? And there used to be a program at the county that would, sub not subsidize, but actually give you a low cost home mm -hmm. that, w uh, loan that would be, you'd be able to uh, access um, get your septic system done and, you know, have it for 30 years or, or, or however long the loan was for. But recently, sewer expansion has come through here as well, which also has a cost to mm -hmm. it, to the homeowner to connect to that sewer system. Right. So you've rebranded this the, the septic loan to have it called Aquafund. Yep. And then we've also talked about alternative septic um, systems as well, this aqua fund covers 
all of it. And mm -hmm. there's a, a lot of different financing mechanisms within the fund. Let's talk about Aquafund. Sure. What is it and how does it work? Sure. So Aquafund is formerly our community septic management loan program. Like a government organization, we came up with some unpronounceable acronym for a program. Right. Surprise there. Um, uh, recently, you know, as the towns uh, were really starting to gear up to look at how do they uh, expand their sewering projects and those types of things, how do we address this problem? Um, the question comes up, how do we help homeowners uh, deal with their portion of this investment in our uh, clean water infrastructure? Um, so we looked to make some changes to that program to make it um, more uh, accessible and easier for folks to pay off uh, over the long term. So historically with that program, we had a 5% um, yeah. per annum interest rate. Um, and we wanted to bring that interest rate down, um, but we can't just do that across the board. You can't run a loan program, which mm -hmm. is 0% for everybody. It just doesn't work. Right. Um, so what we created is a tiered system whereby um, folks of lower incomes uh, would, able, would be able to get 0% loans, and then kind of as you go up in income and your means are better to pay for these things, um, you would have access to uh, higher interest rates, and those would be two and four percent, which right now is better than market rate. So right. you know, <laughs> even even a, a higher income yeah. person might want to take advantage of the program. Um, so we you know we went through that process, and we said, well, you know what? At this point, we got to change the name. You know, sys sysmulp, and it wasn't really <laughs> working well for us anymore. So we said, a colleague and I put our heads together, um, Bethany Traverse at at the county, who's our communications officer. We put our heads together, and she came up with the Aquafund name which I think uh, it's Aquifund with an I for Aquifer. Um, and I think it kind of better encompasses what we're trying to do. Um, you know, that program has been in existence itself since 2007 um, as a regional program. It's always been available for people to replace their septic systems as, you know, those things happen. It's a big right. investment. You know, it's like replacing your roof. It's an, exactly. something you need, but you don't really want to pay for it. So, you know, the loan gives you the opportunity to spread it over 20 years. Um, that program has been able to pay for those replacements uh, or alternative septic system technologies or even all along we could do sewer connections. Right. Um, but, uh, you know, I think one of the key pieces of the change is to make, tr to put a significant effort into making sure we have the resources available for every, as many comers mm -hmm. as we can because, you know, we're all in this for 20, 30, honestly probably 40 and 50 years and beyond. Uh, as we deploy all of this infrastructure that we're going to need, and we need to provide as much help as we can. So that's the new Aquafund program. <laughs> we talked a little bit about what qualifies the Aquafund. I just want to make f sure that folks understand mm -hmm. is that it's a replacement septic, Title V. Mm -hmm. It's a connection to sewer. Correct. And it also includes alternative septic systems as well, right? Yep, All three yep. of those? Those advanced technologies. Now there's some qualifiers on the low interest rates because sure. um, you know, we need to focus the program on um, you know, not just helping people who need help, but we're also trying to help those people who are required to do something and you know, they might not otherwise have been required to do something because of right. this nitrogen problem we have. So where towns are saying, you know, it's time for you to hook up because we have this nitrogen problem, or they're saying you need to install a new IA technology, in, an innovative alternative septic system technology, uh, we want to make sure that those folks have that additional help. There are still um, advanced technologies uh, where people are using them for different reasons. Maybe they have a small lot, or maybe they have a groundwater separation issue. Those aren't eligible for the lowest interest rates. Okay. This is really targeted at situations where the town is telling somebody, you have to connect the sewer or you have to put in an IA technology um, because right. we have this nitrogen problem. Right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, in addition to the Aquafund, um, Barnesville County also does some other work with our towns in the region, mm -hmm. decentralization of you know, wastewater infrastructure and management. Tell us just a little bit about that to kind of wrap this all together, is that the county's really invested in making sure that all the towns have the help that they need mm -hmm. in order to move forward and to clean up our wastewater challenges. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the county's effort has, uh, beyond the Aquafund program, really focuses on those advanced on-site technologies because I think that's a niche we can fill really well. The towns, I think, have their heads pretty well wrapped around how to do sewers, finance sewers, install sewers. So we're saying, 
you know, we'll take this piece of this puzzle and try to figure it out. Okay. Um, so not only are we, you know, pushing forward this Aquafund program to make it available for those folks, but um, trying to figure out how we can um, centralize the management of these systems a little bit more than they have been historically. So uh, let's say I'm a homeowner, you know, I personally, I live in Mashpee, so I'll use Mashpee as an example, okay. you know. Uh, maybe I'm told I need to upgrade my system for whatever reason. You know, I've got to go out. I've got to go find a designer for that system on my own. I've got to pay for that on my own. I've got to find somebody to install that system. I've got to go through the whole approval process through Town Hall. And I'm a former Board of Health member, so I can say, I think with confidence, it can be a difficult process to go right. through. Um, so what we want to do is put together a program that helps homeowners with that process where they've been told you need to do this for a nitrogen problem or a phosphorus problem. Um, and we do that through this thing that I mentioned a little earlier called the Responsible Management Entity yep. Program, which is like the equivalent of a sewer utility for on-site systems. Okay. So we help owner, homeowners um, through that whole process, starting with um, design, uh, moving through installation, utilizing the Aquafund program to help them with the financing. Um, and then through the long-term piece of it, which is making sure that the system's working, because it's not just good enough to put these systems in backyards. Right. You know, they're not uh, as simple as you know, pipe and stone in a septic tank. It's like they've got air blowers, they've got switches, they've got pumps, they've got control panels that need to be checked on, you know, at least once a year to make sure that they're working. So this right. program would look to integrate that process much like you would with a sewer. You know, you don't. Each of us doesn't have to go out in the street and work a valve, you know, with the right. sewer system, or go down and turn a <laughs> wrench at the plant. Um, you know, trying to figure out how do we make that process a little bit more fair for everyone? Because if you're on sewer, you don't have to do anything other than pay your bill. Right. Um, we're trying to figure out if you were required to put these in, how can we make it the same way for you? Right. That's a fantastic program. If people want to find out more, where are they going to go? You got a website? We do. So you could go to capecod.gov is the overall Barnstable County website, and you right. can get to all of this information through there. Um, if you kind of want a shortcut to some of this uh, more specific stuff about on-site and the management stuff and the test center work that we're doing, you can go to masstc.org, M-A-S-S-T-C.org, um, to look that up and learn, learn more about what we do out there. Great. Is there anything I didn't uh, ask? Oh, boy, I could go on <laughs> and right. on and on. You're, ask, you're asking the wrong person that question. So. <laughs> well, Brian, it was really informative. I think our residents are going to get a lot out of this. And it is the Aqua Fund. Mm -hmm. You can access that through CapeCod.gov. Um, so there is help out there for replacement of Title V as well as alternative systems and sewer connections. Thanks again, Brian.